and welcome to Cooking Questions and Animal Things with Andrew. I'm your host, Andrew, and today we're making Steven Universe's Cookie Cat. For this recipe, you will need these ingredients as well as a Cookie Cat cutter. We got this one off Etsy, I'll leave a link in the description below for that, uh, or you can make your own. The most important thing you need to do before you start baking is to make sure you're nice and clean, so make sure you wash up. A wise chef once said, a baker's measuring cups represent his personality, so naturally, Mine are pigs. Add two and a half cups of all-purpose flour, half a cup of dark cocoa powder, one teaspoon of baking powder, and an eighth teaspoon of salt. And then mix. For the rest of the recipe, we'll need a, <coughs> a mixer. In a large bowl, add one cup or two sticks of butter and beat it until smooth. Butter is smooth, add one and a half cups of sugar and mix that until it is light and fluffy. After about two minutes, it should look like this. Put the mixture on stir and add two eggs, one at a time. Once the first tag is fully integrated, add the other. Then, add one teaspoon of vanilla extract and half a teaspoon of almond extract. Careful, this stuff is expensive, so don't spill it like I did. Then slowly mix the dry and wet ingredients together. Then shape the dough into an inch-wide disc and cover it with plastic wrap. Then carefully place the dough in the fridge. Then wait two to four hours before taking it out once more. Cut the disc in half so it's easier to roll out. Make sure to wash your cookie cat cutters before using them. Once they've been thoroughly washed, use your cookie cutters to cut out the cookies by firmly pushing down on the dough. Once you've used all the space available in the dough you rolled out, remove the excess dough from around the cutouts and place the remainder off to the side. Then with a spatula, carefully lift the cookie dough off of the cutting board and place it on a sheet of parchment paper. Remember the excess dough? Roll that back out and repeat the process from earlier. Heat the oven to 325 degrees and then place the trays into the oven. Now that you put your cookies in the oven, make sure you grab your ice cream. Technically you need vanilla and strawberry ice cream for an accurate cookie cat, but I'm not made of money, so what you gonna do? After 15 minutes in the oven, place the cookies on cooling rack so they can, you know, cool. Take the bottom half of the sandwich and place the cutter without eyes on top of it. Then scoop some of your ice cream in and use your spoon in your hands to mold it to the shape of the cookie cat. Then place the half with eyes on top and, and bingo bongo, you've just made the cookie cat ice cream sandwich. Hey guys, thanks again for watching this video. Don't forget to like and share this video and subscribe to our channel. Um, we left the recipe in the description. Uh, I'd say this recipe took about um, five hours. That includes the time it took to bake and the time it took for the dough to chill. Um, thanks again for watching our video. Bye.